Well, the Wisconsin Badgers uh, split with Michigan State this past weekend in East Lansing and returned to the Kohl Center at 7-5-1, and 2-2 two and two in the Big Ten. Next up, the Michigan Wolverines, and they can fly around the ice. Associate Head Coach Marco Siki joins me next on the Badger Hockey Digest. Well, Mark, you look at last weekend series against Michigan State. The weekend before against North Dakota, you played two good games both both weekends, and unfortunately, you'll come away with only one victory. But that's hockey sometimes, isn't it? It is. I mean, you you, you know, you look at North Dakota that weekend. We competed extremely hard back-to-back uh, -to -back nights, and those games could have gone two wins, could have been two losses, could have been two ties. Right. Uh, and then you turn around and and go to uh, East Lansing, and I thought Saturday night, right from the get go, right from the opening face-off. Uh, we set the tone and we carried that throughout the game. Um, and then even the next night, we, we set the tone in the first period. And uh, I thought State played a, a really sound game and hard in front of their goaltender. He played very well, but they blocked a lot of shots. They kept a lot of things from the outside or to the outside for us, uh, where we needed to get on the inside a little bit more. But um, we played two very good games on the road. And uh, like you said, you came away with one win. Yeah. You work at that, too. We're trying to get inside, get to the net, get to the hard areas. It, it's something that you, you actually have to teach. Some guys love it and go to it and they know that's where they're going to score goals. Other guys need to be kind of prodded to do that, right? Yeah, you don't see too many guys that are just natural uh, where they're going to go to net front and, and, and make a living at that, whereas uh, you've got like uh, Andrew Shaw, you know, like with the sure. Blackhawks and now with Montreal who made a living at it with, with a smaller stature. And um, some of our guys just have to understand that, that that's where they've got to go and make that consistent. And Tony does a great job with our forwards. It's just a matter of, uh, like I said, the consistency part of it and being able to do it in uh, from shift in, shift out. Yeah, you've got to be encouraged the way your defense is playing. You limited Michigan State to 17 shots on goal both nights. I mean, the shots on goal, the chances you're giving up in games over the last 10, 12 games, pretty impressive. Yeah, and it starts with our forwards. I think our forwards are doing a great job tracking back and putting pressure on the other team's forwards uh, and their line rushes that are coming against us. And and then as far as our defensemen go, they, they're just calm. They're just, they go about their business. They don't try to do too much. Um, you know, see Wyatt Kalnick getting a few points on the power play and uh, he has a, a special touch on the blue line uh, on, on the power play. But the other guys are just calm with their game and really they're, they're, the whole group as a decor keeps on growing. Yeah. Hey, yeah, the fourth line played pretty well this past weekend. It has all season long. Maybe the best skater for the Badgers on Saturday was junior forward Jared Zerbel. And we'll hear from the Green Bay native. We'll take two minutes with Jared Zerbel coming up in just a moment. This is Lexi Rush. She's 10 and she's amazing. You see, Lexi was born deaf and couldn't hear anything. That was until her doctor in Appleton referred her to the pediatric specialist at UW Health in Madison. Now, two operations later, Lexi can hear everything. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. How do you show up? Do you just bring it? Or do you bring it? all focus third row like a pro step up to gmc with price reduction below msrp plus purchase allowance on all 2017 acadia slt models that's nearly 6200 total value on this acadia we are professional grade gmc Luke Strand, former Badgers associate head coach, helped you get here to Wisconsin. I know you owe a, owe a lot to him, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. He was great, uh, especially just growing up around him. He was always helping me out with uh, little things on the ice as far as just like little skating things or shooting and passing, all that stuff. So it was great. Yeah. So as you're working your way through and you're trying to crack the lineup and do everything that you possibly can, did you ever envision that playing for the Wisconsin Badgers would be a possibility? Um, yeah, it was always a dream of mine, you know, growing up, coming to games when you're a kid and uh, Whenever in the Madison area, kind of like catching a Badger game was a huge thing for us. So, but then once uh, once juniors kind of hit and uh, the game plan as far as after after juniors, what it was going to be for me, uh, I wasn't really sure. Talking to a couple of schools and then Strand kind of giving me an elbow every now and then about the Badgers. So I kind of like got into my head more and I was like, all right, maybe this can be a thing now. And then, of course, once he came to here, I was like, all right, the ball started rolling a little bit more and uh, things worked out. And 
I'm happy to be here. It's the best place I could be. Yeah. Do you ever sit back and think, holy cow, look what I'm doing? This yeah, absolutely. Awesome. My, my dad says it all the time, too. He kind of like sits there as he's watching the game. He's like, I can't believe I'm kind of here right now. <laughs> so it's Michigan week. you got the Wolverines uh, Friday and Saturday, and you've got the football team in town, too. Are you going to be able to sneak over to Camp Randall to watch that game? Uh, I don't think so. I wish we could, but it's going to be a big game day weekend, hopefully for a lot of fans. I know I know Madison's going to be crazy like this weekend, so it's going to be a good atmosphere. Do you hang with some of those football guys? Uh, yeah, every now and then a couple guys will we'll get together at Camp Randall. If we're studying uh, for a certain class that we all have together, we'll, we'll hang out every now and then. Can you believe the defense that team plays? Yeah, it's unreal. It's absolutely unreal. Their, uh, their defensive coach is pretty crazy, too, and uh, he came in and talked to us, and it was, it was pretty cool. Yeah, Jimmy Leonard story. gave you some, some advice, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely. So it was it was crazy listening to him talk about how his uh, leadership role and everything that he, he went through to get where he was at. So that was pretty inspiring. You see some of the licks that they put on guys, that defense. Oh, What's yeah, the worst hit you've ever taken on the ice? Uh, I kind of got a turnbuckled off the wall right where the boards meet the meet the uh, the glass there. I got my head leaning over it, and I'm pretty sure I don't really remember it because I was out right when I hit it. But that was probably my worst hit that I had. When was that? Uh, I think it was in high school, like freshman or sophomore year. Really? So yeah, that was. I think that was my worst hit. So you didn't get the guy's number? No, I don't think I remember the guy's <laughs> number to be honest. <laughs> I love Thanksgiving because it's a time of the year when the whole family gets together. Oh boy. We're gonna need a bigger turkey. Ring in the holidays with Buick. It's the Enclave Black Friday event at your Buick dealer. Get 20% below MSRP on all 2017 Enclave premium models. That's over 10,500 on this specially equipped Enclave. Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney and together we saved a life. UW Health, remarkable. Well, we just heard from Jared Zerbel. You've had a number of guys play in that fourth line this year. They've done a very nice job for you. If they score, that's a bonus, but they're putting pressure on the other team's defense, back checking, helping out your goaltender. They're doing a nice job, aren't they? You know what? When your fourth line can go out and, and take a defensive zone face off and do well in the defensive zone, it frees up your offensive players uh, to play in the offensive zone. And, I, you know, Zerbs has done that. Our fourth line, whoever that's been, is getting better with that. And it takes a lot of pressure off our guys. And then, like you said, if they score, it's a bonus. But they, they were able to generate uh, some good looks at the net, and they spent some offensive zone time. And that's, uh, you know, it's great for those guys. And I think the whole bench feeds off of that. Yeah. You've got Michigan this weekend coming to town. It's Michigan week with the football team in action uh, Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. But you get the Wolverines uh, Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. Red Berenson, longtime coach has retired. He played a, an up and down style. Uh, Mel Pearson, who was a longtime assistant, went to Michigan Tech, now back with the Wolverines. He plays an up and down style too. This is going to be fun to watch. You know what it is? All you have to do is look at the uh, Minnesota series with Michigan this past weekend and uh, obviously entertaining hockey to watch for the fans, probably not so much for the coaches behind the bench, but um, it was up and down and Minnesota held a lead late and both of those games and Michigan finds a way to call back into it and uh, Mel does a good job. He does a great job with his players in terms of developing players and uh, they're going to play an offensive game. You're going to see their defensemen up in the rush and uh, try to generate a four or five man attack and uh, we just have to be aware of that and understand what's coming at us. Yeah and then special teams wise too penalty kill needs to little be a little bit better than it was against Michigan State. Well and it, it starts with face offs. Um, you know obviously that that can set the tone and it's not just the center that's digging in it's the, it's the other three guys doing their part and uh, that's where the penalty kill starts and then uh, you know the second part of that is the goaltending. Uh, your goaltending save percentage on the penalty kill has to be pretty good uh, for you to have a chance and have a good penalty kill. And, uh, you know, it's still a work in progress for our guys as well. We're trying to find the right combination of players and, and forwards that we can put out that are going to be consistent uh, shift in and shift out on the kill. All right. Thanks for your time. Good luck this right. weekend. Thanks, Brian. Sure. Marco Siki, Badgers associate head coach, Wisconsin and Michigan, Friday and Saturday night. Both games on the radio, the Badgers Sports Network. Saturday's game is live on Fox Sports Wisconsin Plus. For Marco Siki, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching watching the Badger Hockey Digest.